So today we're going to learn how to properly prepare a shipment. So the first thing you want to do is get a pallet. You then want to get a piece of cardboard and lay on top of the pallet. Um, the reason you want to do this is to prevent any nails um, or any other uh, hard items coming up through and scratching any computers that you may put on there. You want to make sure when you stack these on here, you're not hanging the computers over the edge um, of the side of the skid. Because you want to stack them with uh, feet. You always want to put those contacts in the bottom and you want to stack feet wherever possible on top of other computers to keep them from skidding, um, sliding around. Uh, so basically, when you set it, you just want to make sure again that you're not um, hanging off the edge. The first layer, you're going to have to play with um, a little bit to get it set on how you're going to do it. You always want to put your faces of your machines uh, on the inside. That way they don't get damaged by other skids touching them in trucks or whatever the case may be. Um, you also need to be mindful when I said make sure they're on the pallet, make sure any of your plastic connections are inside of that pallet as well. So now that we got the basic footprint laid out, we're going to go ahead and fill up the whole bottom um, like we have it laid out. Now that we completed the first row, um, we're going to do the second row. We're going to do similar to what we did on the first row to start it. Um, we don't want to stack the pattern in the same way um, because what will happen is then you'll have all of this will just be one layer and it's going to be more unstable. So if you stack it, basically you have two different patterns and you alternate those patterns. It'll lock it onto the pallet and make it more stable. We want this to be as square as possible um, because the next layer we put on is going to look just like this. So an overhang, um, we don't want to do that unless we absolutely have to. Again, we're still making sure we keep all of our face plates facing in. Um, there can be a little bit of room because all this is going to tighten up when we um, strap all of it to the pallet. So it looks like we got a pattern that will work. Um, so we're basically just going to complete this all the way across again like we did the first layer. So now that we completed the second row, basically what we're going to do is go back and we're going to go the way that we stacked the first row. And we're going to stack that on top of this. As we add another layer that's not stacked exactly the same way, it locks the layer underneath it onto the skid. Stack layer one, just like you did that. Stack layer two. And then if you can get it in in five feet, depending on how tall your machines are, you would do a third row. You would then band it uh, and then shrink wrap the pallet. Um, when you band it, you just want to make sure um, that it's tight. Um, you're not going to get it completely to where it doesn't move. You just want to get it snug and then we'll wrap it. Um, that's another uh, layer of protection. The first one was all nice, even, uniform, pretty easy. This one we're going to show a way that we can stack a couple different kinds uh, on the same pallet and still make it as stable as possible. And again, we're still alternating the way the computers lay on each other so that way we're still trying to lock it in as much as we possibly can. And we're still making sure the face plates are all on the inside. So we finished out this layer um, and we're still not to the point where we can kind of get it smoothed out. We want to lay this one and we're going to make a layer across just like these here. The reason this is important is this one machine is now pushing down on all three of these where you know it can't be perfect but we're making it as best as we can to try to lock this pallet together. Now that we finished out this, we're still trying to get this squared up and flush. Um, what we want to do is stack a computer on here and we want to try to, if at all possible, not cover this seam. We don't want to do the same thing. We don't want to do this. And again, it goes back to trying to lock these pallets together. So what I want to do, try to do is space this out. So that way when I lay this one on it, so this is covering two computers. So if I press here, I've locked these two computers on. And then we can have a space in here. Um, a small space, again, 
because the weight of the layer on top of this is going to push this down um, and then our banding is going to tighten this up. Now that we've got this all flattened up um, to where it's squared off, um, basically we can kind of treat this as the top of the skid at this point. Um, you're going to stay under again five feet, so we're probably going to get maybe one more layer on top of this. And whatever it takes again to try to cover more than one seam at a time, you'll band it, shrink wrap the entire skid. You may have to band this a slightly tighter uh, as this does have a little more gaps in it compared to the first one that we did. So now we're going to go over how to pack um, laptops and prepare those for shipment. You want to get the boxes that uh, we provide to you, and then you're going to need bubble as well, which we should be providing that as well. Uh, and you're going to wrap these with one to two layers of bubble on them. You want to put it in the box, standing straight up and down. You don't want to place them like uh, laying flat down uh, like you would if you're going to use them. The reason for that is that if you uh, stack more than four or five like that on top of each other, it will damage the screens. Uh, is where if you stack them straight up and down, uh, the frame takes all the pressure of the weight of the other machines pressing down on it as well as the boxes that will be on top of it. Um, you typically I want to put about 10 or 12 laptops in here. Um, the reason why is if you pick this up at this point, it's starting to get a little heavy. You can see what it looks like inside of here. Um, they're all facing straight up and down. And what we're basically going to do is called void fill. We're basically going to pack it in as tight as we can and make sure it's uh, the least amount of movement as possible. And again, all we're doing here is we're just adding more protection to it. So um, you can keep putting in as much as as you can get in here to where it's tight and doesn't really want to move is what we're looking for here. At this point you can just take any remaining bubble you have left over and just fill the top to make sure the top doesn't cave in on them. Then we close the box and we get it all taped up. You typically always want three pieces of tape across, one black, and then one to seal the center. What you don't want to be able to do is you don't want to be able to push in hardly at all. So that's about as perfect as we want to go. You would have ideally another person to help you. And you want to mark on the box which way your laptops were facing. So these laptops were facing up, like so. The reason you want to do that is all that work that we went into to making sure everything was straight up and down. We don't want to do this because now all that weight's pushing on the laptops. So that's how you would pack this. If you've got some more, you could always add more to run the outsides. If this is the last of it, you would put that in the center. Um, you would band the skid separate from this um, and then you would band this to the skid. Final step of preparing the pallet for shipment uh, is we're going to band it. So you're going to use a kit uh, similar to something like this. You pull out approximately larger than what you need. So what you want to do now is throw it underneath the pallet. Um, you can use two people for this um, or you can do it by yourself if you get uh, like the end of a broom or something. Just put it on the end of it here and push it through. Then you're going to take uh, one of the buckles out of the kit, um, whatever is provided with it that you use to actually strap the two pieces of strap together. This particular kit you thread it through like so. Alright, now we got both the straps in there, you're just going to pull it tight by hand. 
Uh, once you've got it tight by hand, um, you're going to take a tool. Um, most kits give you a tool to tighten it down further with. So you insert your tool however the instructions provide you to do that. And then you're going to pull it and it continues to tighten it down. So now at this point, as you could shake it, pretty much the whole stack moves. That's what we want, nice and locked in. This is going to take basically just take the edges off. Now that we've got both of these sides banded down to the pallet, um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to band this one. Uh, if you did not have a row um, and it was not here, so it's just flat all the way across, you would not have to do this. Um, but what this is going to do is uh, this is going to lock this whole, basically these two rows onto the pallet with this one. So now we're going to go ahead and finish the last step in preparing a pallet for shipment. Um, you're going to get your shrink wrap um, and what I typically do is I go ahead and just grab the end of it and just make it into like a, a rope basically. Um, you can go through here and tie it to the bottom of the pallet. Um, like so, you can make a knot. Uh, you can do here, if it'll hold it, you can put it around this, which is the bottom side of the computer. Just work it in there. And all we're using that for is just so you don't have to use two people. You basically, you're gonna use the pallet to hold itself. Just start wrapping around the bottoms. You wanna be a little careful on. Um, you don't want them to pull through. Run it, uh, I guess, horizontal to it. Um, and it puts just a, a little bit thicker layer, so that way the next time you come around, it's not gonna tear the shrink wrap. And then as you go through and you get to the end, you wanna pull tight, just enough to where the, it, there's a tension on it to make sure it's just not flopping all over the place. So pull. You wanna pull it pretty tight, and then go around the corner, and then you can use a knife or you can use your hand and just break it pull it off and then the tension will hold it to the pallet if you have a pallet that has the computers in the center like we did here you need to cover everything as much as you can um, one to com basically complete the wrap two to protect it three to make sure nobody can see what's inside of there and as long as you come around a corner and you're tight and you can come back up and come across this way um, then you can come here come around this corner go back up this side It'll, it'll stay on there. Um, you just gotta make sure you keep tension on it when you do that, and it'll basically, for lack of a better word, glue itself to that corner. Um, but that way we've covered the entire top. And that concludes uh, how to prepare a pallet of computers for shipping.